man, we got something different going on today. I got the father of Crip Mac in the building, bro. So, I'm a so, so this is what I want to know. Was Crip Mac born in L.A.? Uh, I'm going to let my... Let my A.K.A. Big Gangster in a world that you can even think of. You dug back up 1999, them bodies been dead. I ain't got no one motherfucker walk around with no security. Nigga, I walk around with no security too. No cameraman too. Okay. But you're doing it for the internet. I'm really a gangster. Yes, sir. So, Mr. Stacy Brookshire, the AKA person who's everybody on the internet calling a rat. He's supposed to be the biologist. I can't even pronounce it. He's supposed to be the real father of Crip Mac. And I don't know how on earth if that's true or not, but they do look alike and look similar. But he just got exposed by 1090 Jake. Now, what 1090 Jake posted was not only you are not the father, but Jake brought up real paperwork, substantial paperwork that displays and shows Mr. Stacy Brookshire snitched on three individuals. And we'll get into that. But I need y'all to do me one quick favor before we get into the day's moment of the show. I need y'all to hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Thank you for rocking out with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live movement. I'm your guy, DJ Bless One, the best one. I also need you guys to do me a Pesh favor. Mayweather got a new playlist that's going on go to his youtube channel he got the my ambition that just dropped seven days ago go rock with his movement right quick he got a lot of bangers on his playlist click on those go follow him go support the new mixtape the new music he's dropping over there in the a atlanta ladies and gentlemen to be exact rock with pesh mayweather salute to pesh So, I just been chilling and we always get new updates, new information on the great Crip Mac. It's good he's back in the world. He's doing real cool. We was a little bit worried about him because we heard the rumors between him and Jap, but it weren't even rumors. Crip is so real on 55th that he let us know he took an L during that fight, but he did come up for his fave and squabble and he said little things went left but a lot of things went back right and that's on the crip side shout out to the crips out there in california now we're gonna get into what we're doing this so 1090 jake the news journalist on youtube who seems to crack the code on exposing snitches out here so jake post let's read this together y'all we're gonna have to take excuse me i gotta read this properly so jake posted this is stacy brookshire so it says bobby converted the powder cocaine to crack at several residents in the concord neighborhood including Cienso's residence stacy brookshire a gary drug dealer testified that he observed bobby cooking approximately one half of kilogram or more in bobby's apartment he also helped bobby prepare nine ounces at a resident on 19th place a co-conspirator Priven stems testified that he saw bobby cooking approximately one eighth kilogram at a co-conspirator's resident on 18th avenue ladies and gentlemen we'll go back to reading it but i don't know what you call a rat or what's not a rat but that right there is damaging and that's the thing that I want to know can Stacy come back from he did respond but let's continue reading that now it says other drug dealers involved in the conspiracy pled guilty and agreed to cooperate so it was a lot of rats in this case obviously they linked all three trials defendants to the conspiracy Michael Carter testified that Bobby Suggs and Aaron Davis supplied him with drugs when Carter was arrested Senso Suggs told him to lie about his involvement in the drug you guys can read the rest because this is brazy it says stacy brookshire confirmed that bobby sensel and aaron sold 
crack rock. Ladies and gentlemen, this man been going around saying he's Crip Mac's dad, but a lot of this thing is like defamation of Crip Mac's character because the man who's saying this needs to fix some things himself, but he did respond. He had this for 1090J. so you can obviously see he's very mad but i don't know you gotta prove 1090 jake is a liar and he didn't clear clear his name thoroughly the way i thought and expected him to because here's the other paperwork there was also sufficient evidence in the record to link aaron davis to the conspiracy he supplied numerous dealers including william carter with drugs kenneth lewis and stacy brookshire testified that bobby sugg supplied aaron with crack i mean i don't know how much more black and white do you get than that i mean i understand you don't like you are not the father thumbnail pictures and all that but you're chasing clout off of a man who never said nothing about you so it does make you look skeptic and it makes you look skeptical now he did an interview with milk 47 where he spoke on things like this what's the deal with milk gang we got something different going on today i got the father of Crip Mac in the building, bro. So I'm a lo So, so this is what I want to know: Was Crip Mac born in LA? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Mama be asking no questions. I don't want to get too into that. I want to let, I'm gonna let Mama be asking those questions. How? So how did you get? Uh, said you wasn't in his life. Mama Bear told him because you were smoking crack all the time. Or something. <laughs> so he don't got it. So your son is five calling that? you. Yes. If uh, you can beat up a snitch and not go to jail, what's the rule? You gotta, you, you're supposed to attack the snitch. So why the fuck you call me out on the fight and I say, you consider me a snitch. I'm saying, nigga, I'm gonna pull up in LA to fight with my palms up in peace. What's the deal with Smell Gang? We got something different going on today. I got the fight. So you can clearly see that He's on a national tour to air out Crip Mac. And these are some of the things that he has to get ready for. Crip Mac has a lot of people who have vested interest in seeing what his well-being being at a good place. So when an old man in his late 50s, 60s or whatever is chasing clout, there's going to be people that's going to expose dirt that you already have out there. And I guess this gentleman doesn't really care because then he goes on a tour and go sees people like Terrence Gangster Williams. Shout out to Terrence Gangsta Williams. I understand a lot of people don't like him and they have their own rights. Um, again, I don't think it's snitching if you tell on people who's dead. And unless a man comes forward and says you got him all these years, I can't call you a snitch. I've always said that. I need the other party to be like, yeah, he ratted on me. I don't want someone with a paperwork only. I'm not talking about Crip Mad Daddy. I'm talking about Terrence williams so i don't want to call terrence williams a snitch until i see the so said person who got snitched on come back to life and said he snitched on me but this world tour of him going against crip mac and trying to downplay crip mac and think he's exposing crip mac he's really making himself look i hate to say it but like a fool he had a message for crip mac once more Nigga, I walk around with no security too. No cameraman too. 
know what I'm saying? But you're doing it for the internet. I'm really a gangster. Yes, sir. Can't say nothing, cause Vlad TV stabbed me. Shit. If I can't tell me shit, when the f out the closet, see, man. Shows you a real gangster, man. That's on my big old stuff. I'm a Gary Neon representative. Now, this is my opinion about this whole situation. I don't know if this man is really Crip Max's father or anything like that. I'm not gonna pretend I know if he's the dad. They look like twins. If if he came up to me and he said he was Crip Max's father, I would believe him a thousand percent. But Crip Max denied him. Crip Max was one of the first to call him a rat which he responded to Crip Mac as well and 1090 Jake. So it is what it is, but I do believe in black and white and 1090 Jake, he did that. You feel me? You got to give credit where it's due. So I hope both men, which is, you know, Crip Mac and Stacey Brooks here, they can make their amends. And if they can't, I hope they just move and go elsewhere. And I guess Stacey needs to understand the internet could be either something promising for you or something that's digging seven deep, not six feet deep, but seven feet deep, a great for you meaning the extra inch look i am dj bless one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip-hop live do your boy a favor and smash the like button hit the notification bell salute to the trill this thing get crazy boy sheesh